G'day everybody, Nick Dingle back with another video for C Sharp. This time around, we're going to be looking at making your first program and looking at some very basic console commands. Now, I did want to dedicate this to just doing console commands, but I think it's good to actually look at how the text editor works in Visual Studio and some of the shortcuts you can use to speed up your typing. So I'm first of all going to make a console app and I want you to do all of this with me because it's better to actually do than to just listen. And we're going to make sure it's a console app at the top. Change it to hello world. If you don't know that reference, every single first program you should make in any programming language should be a hello world for that matter. Now, I want to quickly say that you need to make sure that all of your source code for right now goes inside this program.cs file. If for whatever reason you lose the file and it looks like this, when you open up a project, simply double click it under the solution explorer. And if you've lost the solution explorer, you will find it under the view menu. Control Alt L. All right. When you're actually working with source code, you have to remember that it's not that delicate. Okay. You can go through and delete things and type things wherever you want and start messing some stuff up and doing whatever you want. All right. You can break things pretty quickly. All right. The reason I say it's not that delicate is because it's just a simple text editor, okay? You can do whatever you want. All the colorizing and things like that just help you see visualize things a little bit better. The dotted lines show you which brackets match up to which brackets and things like that, okay? But before I go into too much detail about how the text editor works, let's make our very first program. And all of our code for the moment is gonna go inside void main. Void main starts on line 12 here on my screen and it ends on line 13. So I need to add a few empty lines here just by pressing the enter key. This yellow bar indicates changes that I've made to my code that have not been saved. Okay, I'm just going to quickly say that to you. And we're going to start with a very simple command called console.write line. Open up some brackets and I'm going to put some quotes as well. I'm going to write hello world exclamation mark and on the end, I'm going to put a semicolon, all right? And then I'm going to hit save. And you'll see that turns green. So changes that I've recently made that have been saved. Hit the start button at the top, or if you're a shortcut man like myself, you can hit F5 on the keyboard. I prefer F5. And you see we've already got a problem, okay? I click it, it flashes before your eyes. Now, if your eyes are quick enough, you can spot. The program actually says, hello world, and then it disappears. And that's because... Computers only do what they're told, really, okay? It starts at void main. This is the start of my code, so it runs my command, writes hello world to my console, and when it hits this bracket here, it actually shuts the program down, okay? So computers are actually quite dumb. They're only as smart as the person who writes the software. So to make sure that screen stays up there, we need something that says, hey, hey, wait, and let me read it, and then you can shut down. And the simplest command is again under console dot, so I'm gonna put console dot, read key and then for brackets we don't need anything in the brackets this time but we do need a semicolon at the end again control s i'm going to save run the program and finally we have a program that sticks on the screen for us okay one thing to note too you'll see the interface changed massively when i ran that so it tells you how much ram you're using how much cpu you're using all the different things that are happening in the background you've got a call stack and locals we'll go through that in a future video because we can't today but right now, Visual Studio, or C Sharp, I should say, is sitting on this line of code and it's waiting to read a key. So I can literally press any key on the keyboard, like the letter L, and it runs that command and then exits the program because it touches line 17 now. Well, I said before, computers are dumb, okay? You can put in as many lines of commands as you want. So you can put in heaps of right lines. What do we? put another right line I could actually put nothing in the brackets for right line if I want and that'll just make a brand new line for us and I'm going to keep on going beautiful because apparently I need exclamation marks in every single line don't know why I'm going to do another read key down the bottom and then we can hit the start button so what you need to remember is that programming starts on the very first line and then it will go to the second line and then it will go to the third line. So currently it's sitting on the read key line. So if I press a button, you'll see I press the L again 
it said what's doing it's got an empty line it's got the third right line and now it's sitting on the second read key if i press another key it shuts down okay so it said computers are done they only do what they're told so put in as many right lines and read keys as you wish i really recommend don't shut your programs down by pressing the red x shut them down normally okay it's just good practice to do that to make sure you haven't got any errors in your program okay before I finish up this video, I want to explain to you the text editor and a thing called IntelliSense. Now, IntelliSense is a Microsoft product built into Visual Studio that is incredibly powerful. If I start writing the word console, you'll see it's trying to predict what am I typing, okay? So if I type in enough letters, it eventually probably guesses what I've got. And this is what IntelliSense is, okay? It's trying to guess what I'm typing in as I do it. Now, you might be asking, what is the benefit of doing that? Okay, because I can just type in console anyway. In fact, I've written that incorrectly because I haven't put it a capital C on the front. Now, IntelliSense is really handy for auto-completion. So if I start typing in console, sorry, I'll drop off a few letters. I can actually hit spacebar and it'll write the word incorrect, or it'll write the word there correctly for me. Okay, and then I can put a dot on the end and then I've got more things I can pick from. So you can see it's highlighted rekey. And the reason that is, is because that's the last command that I used. If I press, if I just move my up and down buttons, press space, again, it's going to write rekey for me. And this is really bloody handy, okay? I use this all the time to speed up my writing. So if I type in the first couple letters of console, like so, I can actually press the dot as well this time. And it's already going to bring up that menu okay and i'm going to pr press down and press space and i've already written my command and i can start writing the brackets and it's already put the right hand bracket in for me even if even though it's put the right hand bracket i could actually type the right hand bracket and it'll just put the cursor on the other side where i can put my semicolon and i'm done so you can write all sorts of things really quickly by doing this ah if you don't make typos and so forth okay so just get used to actually using this because it's going to speed up your development so so much and that's actually the end of this video in the next video i want to go through some and more of the console commands just so you can get right into the screen in the fancy fancy ways all right so i'd like to thank you for watching the video if you'd like to like and subscribe or comment please do so it helps me out a lot but i'll see you in the next video we're going to make a much more advanced program